Welcome back to Getting Started with Unreal Technology. In this video, we're going to talk briefly about the widgets, which are a great new feature in Unreal Engine 3 to allow you to transform objects. And by transform, we mean move, rotate, and scale. So when you select an object in your viewport, and currently I have this little static mesh here, you'll notice we automatically get the translation widget. It's uh, three arrows that converge together into a single point. It's got these little tiny plane indicators hanging off of it, and it's color-coded. We have red, green, and blue, and those correspond to the three main axes, where red is going to be X, Y is going to be green, and Z is going to be blue. RGB equals XYZ. Keep that in mind, and everything else is easy. Now, as you mouse over any one of these axes, you'll notice that they get highlighted, meaning that if you were to click and drag, you would then be moving on that axis. So if I click and drag on X, we're sliding along the X axis, click and drag on Y, like so, and then click and drag on Z, and we're moving up and down. You can also click and drag on these small plane indicators in between any two of the axes, and you can move on both of those axes at the same time. For example, we can move in X and Z, or we can move, for example, in X and Y. Now, sometimes moving in X and Y, if you're viewing at kind of a, a diagonal view, kind of like not directly into your plane, it can act a little funny, so you might have an easier time doing that in a, an orthographic viewport. So let me jump over here to the top view, and we'll switch over to brush wire frame mode. And again, I have this planar indicator in between my two axes that I can use to move these guys around. So very, very handy feature. You'll also notice that I'm snapping, which is on by default. Uh, we'll talk more about snapping in a separate video. For now, let's go back over to a perspective view. Let's go back over to lit mode. And now let's shift over to the rotation widget, which we can get to in one of three ways. First, we have the rotation widget button located here in the toolbar, so we can click on that and we go to the rotation widget. Let's go back to translation for just a moment, though. We can tap the space bar, and that will cycle us over to the rotation widget. And if we continue tapping, it'll cycle us to the remaining widgets we have access to. Or we can go under edit and choose rotate. So three ways to go about navigating through your different widgets. Now let's talk for a moment about the rotation widget. You'll notice as you get closer and further away from it, it doesn't really change size. It's an optical illusion. It kind of looks like it does, though. Uh, all of the widgets are that way. Just keep that in mind. Now we see three rings, and each one of these rings corresponds to an axis. Again, RGB equals XYZ. The red ring will allow you to rotate around the X axis. Green will allow you to rotate around Y. And blue will allow you to rotate around Z. So let's go ahead and just drag, say, on the red ring, and we're ringing the bell by rotating around uh, X, which is really cool. Now, also, take a look. Uh, we've already talked about this in a previous video, but as we perform these operations for moving, rotating, and scaling, keep your eyes down here in the console bar, and you can actually get an indication of how much you're uh, transforming your object. In this case, when I'm rotating around X, we get an indication of the degrees. If I tap the space bar and cycle back over to the translation widget, as I move around, we get an uh, indication of how far we've moved in position. And as we're about to see when we scale, we'll also get an indication of scale as well. All right. The key to this indicator, though, is that it's relative to where you are moving from. It's not an absolute position indicator. That's right. And it actually shows if you drag it a little bit and move it back, it will actually indicate no change if you move it back to where you had begun the, uh, the movement from or begun the translation from. That's right, which can be very, very handy. Okay, so now there's a quick look at rotation, and we've uh, also taken care of translation. Let's now take a look at scale. I'll tap my space bar twice to get to the scale widget, and this gives us three red boxes. And no matter which one of these we drag on, we're going to be scaling this object up and down uniformly. And we can take a look in our console bar, and we can see the percentage snapping at which we're scaling as we get bigger and smaller. Now, there is actually a second scaling widget, which you can access only by using uh, the button up here in the toolbar for use the non-uniform scaling widget. If we activate this, suddenly our boxes get color-coded. And once again, we have red for X, green for Y, and blue for Z. We also get little uh, planes in between our axes that we can click on to scale in two different axes at once. And the whole key here is that we're scaling non-uniformly. For example, we can scale just along one axis. So there's just X and Z. We can also grab along a plane and scale in two axes at once. So a very handy way to scale if you need to scale on axes differently. Also notice, though, that as you scale in these different dimensions, you're updating the draw scale 3D settings down here in the lower right-hand corner in the console bar. So it's just a more intuitive way to tweak those out. So that is a quick look at the three uh, transformation widgets. 
Generally, I use the space bar to cycle through these unless, of course, I need the non-uniform scaling widget. Be sure to play with these and get the hang of how they work. Uh, the only other thing I'd like to, uh, to mention, I guess before we completely leave out on the video, is the difference between our uh, reference coordinate systems. We have world and we have local. Let me take just a moment. I'm going to set our scales for this guy back to 1. So I'll hit 1. And I don't, tab doesn't work, does it? But the down arrow does. So there we go. Let's get him all the way back to a scale of 1. And we'll talk about our different reference coordinate systems. Right now we're looking at local. We also have access to world. Now what is the difference between these two? If you look in the lower left-hand corner of your viewport, you can see a little axis origin which tells you the direction that your three primary axes are pointing relative to the world, where X, uh, as of right now, would be pointing left to right, Z would be pointing up and down, and Y would be pointing generally at us. If we are in the world reference coordinate system, the uh, translation widget or the rotation widget will always uh, point along those dimensions. So if I switch over to uh, rotation, we're rotating in world, and scale will do the same thing. So let's go ahead and take a look here. And we can see if we switch over to local, the scale is actually changing. Now, what is the difference between world and local? Let's just start off with the, uh, ro the translation widget. And to really show this off, I guess, I guess what we need to do is give some sort of rotation. So I'll rotate us in the y-axis, like so, and then we'll rotate us a little bit in x. So we've got this really wonky rotation. And now if I switch back over to translate, take a look at the direction my axes are pointing, and then watch what happens when I shift over to local. Now, what, uh, Logan, can you tell everybody what just happened? Well, what's happening here is it's using the uh, current rotation of the object itself, meaning that the manipulator, manipulator itself will be oriented to match the object you have selected. So now you're moving around the object's own X, Y, and Z axes instead of along the world's. That, that's right, which can be really handy if we knew that we needed to slide this guy along its own local Z axis or its own uh, local X axis. Right, if we had already oriented something but then wanted to adjust it along that orientation, we could switch to local and then move the object as necessary. That's right, and we can switch this for all of the uh, different widgets. So if we go to rotation, now we're in local, and we can also switch it back to world, as you can see here, and the same thing with scale. So there's world, and there's local. So that really is a complete look at all of the different widgets and the important key aspects of their settings, and that is going to wrap things up for this video.